What's going on, y'all? This is Keith Harris, Forex Trader. We are here just going over some things. It is Sunday, and we are answering some questions and learning how to mark up and what to do in the markets. So uh, if the young lady can please continue um, with her questions. Yeah, I think you answered the question as far as my uh, you know, understanding when to buy and when to sell. Do you know why you're buying or why you're selling? Uh, because the trade, it, when you when it's when it's going down, then um, that's that's the um, that's the market going down. But as the trade as the trade is progressing and is going up, that's the better time to to um, to buy. You buying is going up. Right. That's what I. That's what I was trying to say, but maybe I didn't say it in that. Selling is going down. Right. We are looking to buy from the floor or sell when she gets to a ceiling. Okay. Is there anyone that's confused by that? Does everyone understand that? Yes. Anyone else with any other additional questions, feel free to unmute yourself and let's talk about it. Hello. Yes, hi. Hi. Yeah, this is my first time on a call. I'm new to this, so everything is, is pretty much new. Okay. So what I'm going to advise you to do is get in the Telegram group and watch the videos from the beginning. <coughs> um, <coughs> last week, Wednesday, mm -hmm. is when I started, but I've done a couple of pop-up webinars. <coughs> Excuse me. Since then, I would advise you to definitely get in those videos, watch them, and then you'll be able to have uh, different questions. But if you have a question right now, definitely let's get to it. I don't even know what to ask. This is like new to me. <laughs> okay, not a problem, but definitely get into those webinars that I've done um, and watch those videos. That will give you some clarity. Okay. All right. How so, do I get those videos? You got to be in the Telegram group. Oh, okay. Right. So when I put stuff in that Facebook chat and I say, hey, who um, who needs, who wants to do this, who wants to that, whatever the case is, you got to respond okay. because that's the only way I'm going to give you the information. I don't just blatantly put it in there. Um, if you respond back and send me a message, then I will um, definitely get you the information. Okay, because I don't all be right. in the chat all the time. So, okay, I'll, yeah. I'll check the chat and send no, you a message. No problem. The same one, one where you got this link from. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, what, what's, what's, what's the name of the group, Keith? What's the name of what group? The Telegram group. Oh, you won't be able to find it unless I give you the link. Oh, okay. Yeah. All so, right. send me a message. Everybody knows how to message me. Send me a message. Okay. And I will get it right to you. Now, um, what other additional questions do, does anyone have? Does everybody know what I'm doing besides the young lady that just got started, uh, just got on? Does everybody know what I'm doing when I'm putting these lines? Yes. Yeah. Is there somebody that yeah. doesn't know? Yes. Besides the young lady? Is there anyone that doesn't understand why I'm doing this? So y'all all understand? Yes. Well, I just have one question, Keith. Yes. Um, when we are doing this, when we're looking in the past, when we're looking to the left, are we just trying to find, because I think the basic thing for me is I never understood why we were going, why we had to go back to 1996 and, and all that. So are we looking for, um, repetition 
like something that it did back in 1998 that it might do now? Yeah. I, mean, I, I guess I'm trying to find yeah. out what yeah. it is. Yes. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. Because where it has stopped previously and held a trade or turned it around, that might be a strong area that may come up in uh, the uh, future. You know what I mean? Because look, back here in, what is this? 1998, 1999, it stopped the trade here. But look, in, what is this, 2010, it stopped it here. In 2000, what is that, 2012, it stopped it here again. And it's playing around in this area here. And here we are right back at that same level all the way at 2020. Okay. Towards so the end of 2021. Toward, toward the end of 2020. So same should... line, same area. Now, whether it provided resistance or if it provided support at that level, right? Mm -hmm. And we are at the same area. Okay. Okay. That's why you mark up the charts because history repeats itself in everything. Okay. Thank any you. questions? Any any other questions? <clears throat> Feel free. Anybody with any other additional questions, concerns? So what I want to talk about here is um, when I say support and re or resistance, that is also another way to say um, structure, a structured point, right? Did this line provide structure right here? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Do you all understand why? Yes. This is not the time to be quiet. You said structure, like support? Support and or resistance. Structure is structure. A structure will stop something. Okay. A structure is an area that must be broken in order for it to go somewhere. Ten four. Right? Yes, sir. Structure could also be above it, right? Providing structure. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Y'all see what I'm doing? Does anybody not understand? You see how it came here, hit here, and it had weakness. When you see a long wick like this out of the bottom of the candle, that means that candle body really shot all the way down here. And then before it closed, it pushed all the way back up here. That is a sign of weakness saying that it, it it was ready to stop buying and uh, stop selling and buying is coming. So Keith, is that also when um, the body of the candle, how you had showed us before, um, is that part of the structure? What do you mean? Explain what you mean. Well, well you see how you had the short, the short candlesticks and then you had the ones that had uh, a longer body? Is mm -hmm. that part of the structure? No, structure is something that stops it. That stops it, okay. So this area stopped it, provided structure. The candlestick is still a candlestick. I'll let you know, in every one of these candlesticks, the buyers and sellers are fighting within the candlestick. Okay. And whatever color it is, that's which side won. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. So when you're looking at the chart, sometimes the, the candle might go red. Sometimes it might go green in the middle of that candle and still keep going. In the middle of that candle, it'll flex green, flex red, whatever the case is. But at the close, it will be one color. When you see something stopping it here, like it stopped it here, it stopped it here, and then took off going this way. That's because it hit a structured level. Same thing here. If you see a lot of wicks to one area, there's a structure there. It's 
something stopping it from progressing to go down. You see, if it's going down, the next one should be further along if it's going to continue to go down. If you're going to have, if you have a wick like this, a wick like this, and it's all wicking to that same area, guess what's stopping it? Right? Guess what's stopping it? Structure. Structure. It's the floor. Structure is stopping it. But Keith, did you say structure can be the ceiling too? Yes, as okay. it is over here. Anything that stops the trade is structure. If it stops it from going, like it was going down, going down, got here, the brakes got put on. One, two, three, four. There's structure here. There's something stopping it right here. And then that's why we have it going this way. And as you can see, there's structure here, right? Because it stopped and turned the trade around. Anytime a trade is turned around, there is structure there. There's something turning it around. Okay, somebody has background noise. Mute yourself out, please. I don't know who that is. Mute yourself out. Thank you. Now, there's structure right there. Do y'all see that? Every time it turns around, there's structure there. There's structure here. You all see this? Yes. Yeah. Every time a trade stop, there's structure. Mm -hmm. Right? There's structure. Now, look at this. I want to talk to you all about does everybody else, does everybody understand that before I go any further? Yes, no? Yes, I understand. Yes. yes. Anybody confused yes. about that? Anyone confused? Okay. So what I really? want to talk to you all about right now, if you are confused, say something. Please say something. What I want to talk to you all about at this point is the break of the structure. Right? It broke that structure. Does everybody see that? Yes. Everybody see yes. that this mm -hmm. structure is here, right? All I did was bring it over. Same area, right? It's the same area that stopped this, same area that stopped this. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was it was providing some situations here. Right. I want to talk to you about the break of the structure. Did it break the structure? Yes. Yes. Do you all see the break in the structure? Yes. Yes. Is anyone is anyone confused about the break of the structure? Mm -hmm. So it got down here and the next candle was below was in the structure area that broke below and it closed below the body of it closed below unlike this body the body just came down here and then retraced back up here this body formed down there and closed down there so we had a break of structure. And when you have a break of structure, you want to enter in on the break of structure, right? It closed below, you want to enter somewhere in this candle, right? You enter somewhere in this candle for the cell and you just give it time. And then when it hits the next level of structure, you should take your trade out and take your money. Because what? Trading is from what to what? Support to resistance. Exactly. Another word for that is zone to zone. When it came down here and hit here, you should have taken your profit. 
So, Keith, when you say we need to get in on that big candle, that big candle is on the hour chart? This is the monthly. The monthly chart. Okay, we should be getting in somewhere on this big monthly chart. Candle. No, no, no. In the five minutes. I'm just showing you that. I'm not telling you to get in on the monthly chart. I'm just showing you. Okay. You understand? Because candlesticks are going to do what they're going to do. I'm just showing you this. I just landed on the monthly chart, and I'm just showing you this as an example. But you would enter in on this candle in this here and take it down to here. So let's say you got in on the candle maybe halfway down to this structure level is 118 pips. No, yeah, 118. Quick question, Keith. Yes. Um, are candles with no wicks uh, a sign that it, like it's going to continue and it could possibly break another zone? Uh, depending on the candle that you're looking at. All candles have wicks. Some are just smaller than others and you really can't see them. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure out like, how do I know when it's going to break a break a... Uh, you don't. You're waiting for it. You don't know when something's going to do anything. You're waiting for it to happen. Yes, sir. And once you see and confirm that it has happened, then you make your judgment. Oh, God. Yeah, it's not fortune telling. We waiting to see what happens. <laughs> yes, sir. We waiting for the market to come to us. We not rushing the market. We not saying, oh, I know it's blah, 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 going to bust through this. Nah, we going to wait and see what happens. I got you. Because when we wait and see what happens, then we can plan the attack from one side to the other side. That's it. Oh, God. And Keith, where did you say the zone would end with this one? You said it's going to start like in the middle, but the zone would end where? No, no, no. You're going to figure out where the next zone is. Okay. And how did I do that? Well, there was a previous area over here. This is why you mark up from previous. It was a previous area over here, right? It stopped it here. And let's see, it stopped it here. And it's still the same zone. That's That number stayed stagnant. And it just went all the way across, right? So that previously was a area of concern because it stopped it from back there. So as it approaches that zone again, this is an area. So anything could happen here but you want to be aware of it. So that way you can plan to take your profit at that area. And also you can plan to what? Get in a trade going in the opposite direction when it gives you the right signals, right? When it gives you the right uh, confirmation, you're prepared to take the trade going in the opposite direction okay. up to where? To the next structure. previous structure which is this same structure it broke through. You see how history is repeating itself. Do you all see how the history of this here being a level of concern and it broke below it, then it came back up here. And as soon as it got up here, you should have taken it, mm -hmm. taking mm -hmm. your profit out of the market, right? Yeah. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Anybody not see that? Is this making sense to y'all? Mm -hmm. Yes. This yes. is not making yes. sense to anyone. Don't just feel obligated to say yes because everybody else is saying yes. Definitely feel free. And as we can see, it's right back at current, right at this structure level. Is it not? It's right back at that area. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So this is a wait and see type of scenario because i would like to break out <clears throat> and i would like it to retest and fail once it's finished its retest if i'm going to buy i would like to see a specific candle in order for me to buy and i would like to know where my next level is which will be right here if it's going to buy my next level of concern would be here because as you see this here, it has stopped it here. So if I drop a line right on the top of that box, <clears throat> uh, 
if I drop a line right here, look what happened here. It stopped it here. Same let same area, is it not? That's the same area. And look what it did to it here. Boop, boop, and stopped it. Put the brakes on and made it go back down. So it's back in this area all again. So I wouldn't take a trade until it broke out and retested this area to continue to go up. And then my next level would be here where I would get out with my profit if it was buying and I'm going to take a buying position. My next area of concern would be just this. Straight across. Do you all see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All you're looking for in trading is where are the, are the brakes going to get put on? Because you do not want to take a trade right here for a buy and the structure is right here. Because if you take a buy right here and the structure is right here, look what happened. You're in a loss right now. Because you didn't recognize where the structure was. If you are too close to the structure, do not take that trade. Does everyone understand that this here, taking an entry in a trade here without seeing the structure and confirming the structure is going to get you in at a loss. Does everybody see that? Yeah. Yes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The majority yes. of reason why people lose trades in trading the Forex market is because they don't know where the structure is. They don't see the structure. And if you get in a trade because, oh man, it's been buying. I, I don't want to miss this trade. This, that, and the other. Yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a hop in. And you hop in here, you're going to have a problem because you did not recognize that this was structured right here. There's a structure here. It did not break the structure and then um, retest the structure to continue to go upward. It got here and failed to go above this and then dropped. So if you bought right here, you are in a world of pain. You are losing money. That's what I'm trying to say to you all. You are losing money headed towards blowing your account depending on how big your lot size is comparable to what's in your account. Does everybody understand that? Do you understand why you wouldn't buy right here? Why you should not buy right here? Do you understand why you need to mark up your charts ahead of time and know where the structure areas are to understand where has the trade been previously? Because this is down in 2013. I want to know where it's been previously so I know how to react at saying, hey, if it breaks above closes and then continues this way, I want to get out here. Why? Because based on everything that I've seen in the past, it has stopped the trade in this area. So I know when I get to this area, I need to be closing my trade out or pulling my stop loss up. Because I want to keep the profits between here and here. The 118 pips. I want to keep them. Right? Right. Because if you enter here and it does this and goes to just here, you are at a negative 118 pips. Easy peasy. And the fact that it broke through and continued to break through, guess how much negative you would be because you did not know and recognize where the structure is. So you would end up being, and as it came all the way down here, you would be negative 337 pips. Mm. Account been blown. Because you did not recognize the structure. That's why you must come to here and mark up your charts.
and set alarms so you can alert yourself. Hey, it's a structure coming. Take the trade. Hey, it's a structure coming. Pull up your, your stop loss. Does everybody understand that part? Yes. We good or not good? If you're not good, say you're not good. If I need to go back over something, I will. Talk to me. Talk to me, y'all. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, Keith. Keith this is yes. So this markup is done on the monthly time frame, right? I'm on the monthly time frame. Okay. So we're not trading on the monthly time frame. So if you go down to the lower time frame based on this markup, what is it going to look like? Because we're not really trading on the monthly time frame. Okay. It's so you go down to the weekly, it will look different. It will be other additional areas of structure that you must mark up, right? You're going to see other additional areas. That's why I gave you all the top-down analysis and I gave you the legend from the first class, right? Yeah. From the first class, I gave you all that in the video. So you would come down on the lower time frames and mark for a different color. And the colors will help you to identify what time frame those stops are from do you understand that because we didn't see this on the other time frame but i can see there's a stop right here right mm -hmm. so just go and mark it off go from time frame to time frame and mark it off time frame to time frame and mark it off that's all you gotta do Time and when you say mark it off, you're talking about that pattern or that, uh, that, um, no, that I'm indicator. talking about putting these lines and making new zones and changing. Okay. 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 That's why I taught y'all top down analysis. So when you're done with your top down analysis, it will probably look something. Oh man, did I close it out? I close it out. Let me see if I just change. Yeah, let me let me let me open up that one because I know I'll mark that up. Whenever that pulls up, it pulls up. Ah, it's pulling up your USD. Ah. All right, I'll switch it back over. Whenever it finishes. Okay, here we go. Yes. So when you um, are marking up your board, or not your board, but you know the graphs or whatever. Um, Call a chart. It, it, Call a chart. Yeah, chart. <laughs> chart. Is that really just like for you, or is it very important how you do it to be precise? Oh, it's very important. Okay. So when you're done, <laughs> your chart's going to look something crazy right crazy, just, drop yeah. to the, just drop to the time frame you're looking for and manipulate the chart yeah okay so it's gonna look crazy because there's all sorts of areas of support and resistance and all of this so i just open up the chart open up the chart and then i just figure out where it is and then that's it you see yeah see yeah. mm-hmm you see those areas? Look, look, look at all that. It stopped it here, stopped it here, stopped it here, turned it around here. And look, there is structure, right? And, I, and this is something I did previously, right? There is structure right here. Yeah. There's structure right there. And it turned it around and you could have got in for the sell. And took it right down to this level right here that provided structure from previous. You see that? You got to plan your attack in this thing. Right. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. that's why it's important to mark up because your markups will stay in trading view. I got a question, Keith. Yeah. So you can't really determine sometimes like how long it's going to be in a sell or how long it's going to be in a buy. You would go from structure to structure. Trust 
Trading is from the floor to the ceiling or the ceiling to the floor. I got you. So you really just got to pay attention and see what it does. Yes, and you should be trading with a trading plan, right? Not just trying to get all of the pips in the world. You need to get the amount of pips according to your trading plan and get out of the market, regardless if it's still moving. Yes, sir. Hey, Keith. I want to see uh, see a, a broker's dirty trick. This right here. Hey. Look at that. That to an inexperienced person, they would be like, "Oh, I'm gonna buy," and then look at that thing; it melted and went down. Do y'all see that? Mm -hmm. If you would have bought because you saw this candle, boy, you'd be losing. Be mad. <laughs> oh, you'd be, you be lit. You'd be mad. <laughs> you'd be lit. Look at this. Yeah, that's Look, at that. Look at that fake out. Right. That's not a breakout. That's a fake out. <laughs> that's definitely going to catch some. That is a fake out, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. That's why you wait for the retest. <laughs> It broke above this structure line, right? Let me help mm -hmm. you out. You don't get in right away. Here's a structure line, right? It provided structure. It right. broke out, but it was a false breakout. We wait for the retest. It did not retest and go this way. It retest, failed the retest, and here we go. Failed it again, and here we go. Back to a downturn. You would be losing your money and your mind because you jumped in on this year. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. Guess what? Account gone. That's why we wait and have patience. Does everybody hey, understand Keith. that? I got a question, Keith. Yes, go ahead. What's up, man? Yeah, hey, how's it going? So, right. um. To to have a, a, a major structure, would you need like more than two points? So, yes, I would have at least two points to provide structure. Got it. Because structures are zones in this situation. These are right. zones. Yeah. Right. It's okay. happened there before. Look, look how many times it hit this line. And stopped it. Yeah. Look over here, look over here, look over yeah. here. It yeah. broke through. We have a breakup structure. Yeah. But look, where is it? Where I just moved it so fast. Hold on. Oh, here we go. It's this line. So look over here, look over here, look over here, look over here, look over here. Five of look, them, here. Yeah. look here. Yeah. Got it. Okay. It stopped it here and broke through here. This line's important. Yes, it this is. This area is important. Look how many times it done touch this area. It done did something, whether it stopped it from going up or stopped it from going down. Something happened at that line a lot of times. Got it. Here's that same line. Something happened at that line. Here it is affecting it from going up right here. Something happened at this area a whole bunch of times. Well, guess what? That's important. Thanks, Keith. Makes sense. Anybody lost with what I'm saying? No. Oh, that's pretty self -spenter. Now, I know I don't expect everybody to get this, especially the people who are brand new to this. But can you see how what I'm saying, how the trade gets stopped at a certain area? Right. right? It was yes, headed I upward. See it. it was headed upward. It got stopped here. It stopped it here. It stopped it here. It got tired of going up here and it gave you another fake out candle. It gave you another fake out. So it, this candle was all the way up here with the body. The body was all the way up here, but it closed down here. When you have a candle like this, it is a sign of weakness. It could not hold it up here. Right. It came back and closed the body down here. And here we go back now that makes sense this candle right here started out green it went all the way up here but then the sellers fought it all the way back down here and it closed down here this is another sign of weakness with this long wick 
And at that point, would you look at that as confirmation as like, as in, okay, this is, this is definitely going it's down. It's not going up. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's not exactly. going up. And I, but, and, and if this is a structure level right here, I want it to break and close below and then I'll get in somewhere at the top of this candle. And here we right. go. Right. Okay. And I'll get in. And if it gets to the structure or almost to the structure, take the trade out of there. Now, now, how long would you wait? Because you, you know, you'll see that first confirmation with the wick, um, you know, is, is it's going not up. It's amount of time. Room. It's about what happens. It's not the amount of time. Because it could do this and bob and weave in here for a minute before it breaks out. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. That's it. why that's... you want to put your, your alarms on and plan your attack. And when your alarm goes off, go and look at it. Right, see what's going on. And if okay. your alarm has gone off and it hasn't happened again, happened yet in the area you want it to go to, then you set the alarm again. Mm. <laughs> you know, I know all of us have... Um, heard the car alarms from when we were younger and they would go off and they would make all of these different um variations bomb 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 where 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 and then yeah. after it was done with that the alarm would reset itself beep, beep. yeah it would reset itself and wait for something else to happen and then scream again so if it has not happened you reset the alarm so that if it does happen to hit it again it screams again to you and then if it doesn't happen, you still reset the alarm. Something's going to happen. See, right. as this is running sideways, something is going to happen. It's going it hit the alarm here, hit the alarm here, hit the alarm here, hit the alarm here. Didn't happen, but it hit the alarm here, it broke above it. There was a retest. You could have took it up to here. Mm. Hey, Keith, this is Lenise. This might be a little bit off topic, but uh, based on what you've shown us um, in marking up our charts, does this still, can we still do this for oil and Bitcoin as well? Yes. Okay. So let me show you BTC USD. And that thing is going through the roof right now. I know. I know. That's why I want to trade it. Hello. <laughs> okay. So, do you see structure? Let me go to a higher time frame. Do you see structure? Can you point structure? It stopped yeah. here. It dilly dallied across here. Broke mm -hmm. out. Retested, right? We had a breakout of the structure. It came down and retested, failed to come back down here, and here's the up. Uh, mm -hmm. Y'all okay. see that? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Do y'all understand what breakout and retest mean? Breakout, yes. like it held it at yes. this area for a while, right? It held it in this structured area for a minute. Y'all getting this? Yes. Mm -hmm. It held it here for quite some time. Right, it held it here, held it here, held it here, wouldn't let it go above. If we had a breakout, right, and then it continued here, and then it retested it like it dipped its toe back in there. And when it dipped its toe in there, it was too cold, so it snatched its toe out, and here it goes going upstairs <laughs> <laughs> to the next area of where it's going to look for another structure, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Y'all see that structure right there? Mm-hmm. One, two, yeah. Y'all see that structure? Bop, bop, yeah. bop, bop, bop. Mm -hmm. One, two, mm-hmm. Is this making sense? Y'all see that structure right there? Indeed. And then it pushed up, it faked you out, right? Because that candle was originally green, but then it pushed back. Right. But do you see how it had wicks to the both sides of that candle? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, boom. <laughs> Fail to go back up here, touch down here, and then look. Bop, 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 boom. And currently it's sitting at 26,733. It had mm -hmm. went up as high as what? What is this? 28,000? 28, right. 28, mm -hmm. eight, almost 29,000. Mm -hmm. And then it dropped back down here. So it's finding structure right where? Look, boop, 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 boop. Y'all see that? It's finding structure right here, right through here. 
Ba 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 ba. Boom. It's fine in structure. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Mm-hmm. Get it? Yes. Yes. Same thank thing. you. Same yes. thing. Chart to chart. Same thing. Same thing. All trading is from support to resistance or resistance to support. Mm-hmm. Any questions? Anybody lost? How about that? Has anybody lost with what I'm saying? Somebody has a siren in the background. Mute yourself. <laughs> Keith, how often? This is Lisa, by the way. Lisa Montoya. How often Hi, do we Lisa. have to mark our chart, charts up? Hi there. How you doing? Finding you. So you should do a top-down analysis from the monthly. So I sent you the video, Lisa. I'm not sure if you got it um, or not, but it's definitely in the Telegram. And if you don't have it, uh, those who are not in the Telegram, I encourage you and employ you to send me a message, right? Does everybody understand when I say send me a message? Yes. Right. You you, you do understand that, right? Mm -hmm. Send me a message. Please send me a message. All right? This is how to reach me. <clears throat> this is my phone number. Feel free to text me here, right? On Telegram. This is my telegram. Forex chart killer. You know how you can reach me on FB Messenger. Right? So you have ways of contacting me. Utilize that. Take screenshot, whatever. Oh man, hold up. Hold up, something wrong, hold up. There we go. That's right. That's my number, feel free to text me. Here's the telegram, at Forex Chart Killer. And you can also reach me during FB Messenger. Everybody got that? Yes. Yes. Y'all good? Y'all good with that, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Any questions about what I've done thus far today? I, I got a quick question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so continuous wicks pointing in one direction can indicate a retracement. You want to wait and see what happens. Continuous wicks in a certain area tells you what? Based upon this training, tells you what? Where I mean, you're way open to go close that. No, continuous wicks. Let's go with your question. Continuous wicks tell you what? Uh, it's a fake out. No, continuous so wicks tell you what? Is this? It? Trying to break through continuous continuous wicks, wicks mean it is at a structured level. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you gotta wait. Okay, continuous wicks is at a structure level, and you should wait because it could find strength to break through that level and go up, or it could find that it doesn't have strength and go down. I got you. I got you. No matter what you do, I wait. Yeah. <laughs> Trading is 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 ten percent buying, ten percent selling, ninety percent waiting. You wait for the market to come to you. If you would have bought over here, you would be at a loss. You had to wait for the market to come all the way over here and do this before you should have been buying. Do you understand that? The buy was coming, but it wasn't ready here. It wasn't ready through all of this. It wasn't ready here. But ah, we had a breakout retest, and then we go. You get it? 
Yeah. Trading is waiting. It's not just because you get on the charts doesn't mean the market's going to do what you wanted to do at the time you wanted to do it. That's not going to happen. That's not how it works. When it is ready to do, it will reveal itself and then it will make a move. Yes, sir. You be ready on either side. You be ready for it to break out and come on this side. You be ready for it to break out and go to this way. And you plan your attack by what? Setting up your what? Alarms. Then when it shows you a breakout retest, that is the safest way to get into a trade. Any questions from anyone thus far? Y'all enjoying this training thus far? Or you got um, some questions yes. about it? Yes. Y'all learning? Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm definitely learning. All right. Yes. So everybody knows they need to go and download the Hugo's Way MT4 on their computer, their desktop, laptop, whatever it is. Y'all got that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I put a video in the chat in order in the telegram chat in order for you to be able to do that. So we're going to switch gears. Okay, so hold on. Somebody put something in the chat. Hold on one second. Oh, thanks. Thanks, y'all. Um, now, remember, any questions y'all got, just ask me. So I went up here to file because this is the Hugo's Way platform. I went up here to file and then I just went to file new chart, right? And then what you want to do, you see all of this, these white lines, this is a grid that's on here. Now the grid can be difficult for you to find out what's happening. I personally don't like the grid, but as you look at the grid, you can see areas of support and or resistance. Do you not? Just look on the lines. Bing. If you're someone that likes to trade with the grid on. Bing. Right? Are y'all seeing that? Yes. Is it not making sense to anybody? Bing. Break a structure. This is a structure point. Break a structure. Y'all see it? Yes? Mm -hmm. No? Y'all see the break yes. a structure? Yes. Yeah. It found structure up here, came back, did a pullback to continue to go up here and found structure. Y'all see these structure levels? Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Look, hit here, hit here, kept it from going there. Look, hit here, hit here, and look at all this. Y'all see all that? Yes. Yeah. Found a floor right here. If you want to trade with the grid, I don't care for the grid. Hit the floor right here, tried, but could not hold it down here and fail. This was a what? Fake out, not a breakout. It faked you out, made you think it was going back down, but did this. <laughs> if you would have gotten in a cell down here, you would be losing your account right now. Account bingo. Came back down, found structure, and took off. Back up to the structure again. Structure, pull back, found a new, what, floor, right? Pull back up to it. Try, break out, retest it right here and failed. Mm, that looks horrible to my eyes. Hold on one second. I can't, I cannot do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Right, came up here, failed, came back down here, right? Bop, 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 took off, breakout, and you see this part right here? It did a retest, failed the retest, came back up, retested it again, and took off. Mm -hmm. Up to the next level. Then it came back, found a new level, and then shot back up here, right? Mm -hmm. And then we had a breakup structure. Where's the next area? Right up here. Y'all see, no matter where it is, it's going to be what? Level to level to level to level, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Even right here is a level, right? 
Anything that stopped the trade and turned it around is a level. If it was important enough to, this thing was going up. And if this thing made it hit the brakes and turn it back around, that's important. Y'all get it? Yes. So, mm -hmm. Right click, go down to properties, go to the common tab, change it to the candlesticks if you like, and then take off the grid. And you can do, if you want to see day to day, you can do show period separators and then come over here. There's something in the chat. Hold on one second. Somebody put something in the chat. I'm looking at something. You look like my mama. Hey, man, tune. Yeah, I do remove the grid line. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Who's having that background noise talking about their mama? Mute yourself. Mute yourself. Right. Please, that just ruins it for everyone. Please, ladies and gentlemen, mute yourself. All right. So it's yellow, 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 yellow. This will show you exactly what's going on, right? If you click the button. So I want to come to the grid and I'll put none because I like to see my screen like that. And then the bar up, I would normally do, like you can do whatever colors you want to do. Like let's say if you wanted to do an aqua up and you want it for your bar down, let's say if you wanted to do what? Red, that's how it's going to show up. And the bull candle, the one that's going up, I would color it, let's say aqua again. And the, the bear candle, hold on one second, the bear candle, I would color it, color it uh, red. Um, if you're gonna change to the line graph, you can change it to whatever color you want, right? You hit okay, and guess what? There it is. Now, if you don't like the lines right here, you can go right back and go back to um, common tab and unclick show period separators, come right back here, click that and they go away. Does everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. And do you see how it's going? You see how I hit structure, hit structure, hit structure, played around structure, came back down here and it found what? It found a level of what? What's beneath the candlesticks? What did it find? A level of what? Ladies and gentlemen. Support. 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 Yes, it found a level of support. Yes. And so on and so forth. Does anybody have any questions about that? Mm -hmm. So you mark up both your trading view and your Hugo flow chart? I have indicators that will mark up my chart for Hugo's way. But yes, I do mark up the chart because I want to see it on one, I want to see it on the other, all right? So let's say, let me see here, let me tighten this thing up. Let me get all the way to the end. Let me tighten this up. So let's say I'm here. I can, now there's some advanced stuff. I'm about to draw fibs up. Structure to this structure level. Bang. Y'all see how it starts right here? This is where everything happens at. That's 61.8. Bang. And what time frame I'm on? One hour, so I'll do 68 and 50. Bang. Look at how it played in here. Bop, 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 bop. Came back. Look how it did the 61.8. 61.8 is normally a hard structure to break. It can break in there and then bop, 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 go sideways. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Ranging on this time frame. Then we had a breakout. Then we had the retest. Y'all see that retest? It went all the way down here and then failed. And look what we have going up. 
Came back down, tried to retest this area again, failed and going up. Y'all see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look how much it has played in between these lines. Would you call that a fake? <laughs> this here, yes. That yes. long line, right, yes. the long wick. Yes, the wicks, yes. Absolutely. Mm. This is why you have to learn how to plan your attack, ladies and gentlemen. Set an alarm here, set an alarm here. The alarm goes off here, go look at it and see what, oh, it broke out, it closed. What's the next candle doing? Ah, oh, it went back up. So if you would have sold from here, you'd be in a whirl of hurt. That's why you got to wait for the confirmation. Wait. It came back up in here. It broke out. It retested. Failed the retest. Your trade is here. Going to the upside. Bop, 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 bop. Until it hit the next level of structure. Bing, bing. Came back all the way down here, retested again, and failed to get out of this area. Next candle, right? You don't you don't go on the candle that that pierces through, that breaks through. You wanted to break out. If this was selling, it would have closed down below here, and the next candle would have started down this way. But it did not. It came down here, could not hold it, got here, and then the next candle went here, broke above this structure right here, and then here we go. It retested and took off. Going back to find another area of structure right here. Came down here, pushed up here, and gave you the fake again. Gave you the fake again. And then look, it melted right back down here. Right back to this line and got right back in the same area that it was over here. Faked you out again. We had a breakout. We had a retest. And then here we go. Bop, 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 bop. Found a new area. The same thing happens over and over and over again in trading. Find the ceiling, find the floor. 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 That's it. I drew the line based on this, but you look to the left, look how many times it played on this line. Look, y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Find a ceiling, find a floor. You find a you find a ceiling, the next ceiling, you're waiting for it to break out. It broke out, but the retest failed to stay above here. And it broke out, and the retest failed to stay above there. It broke out, and then it came back over here. It retested a little bit, came back over here. <laughs> and failed to stay. Then it had a, another retest, and then she took off, going to find a new level. Y'all got that? Yes. Yep. So have y'all learned some things in this session? Yes. Hey, what time frame is that? Is there, is there anybody that has any questions or concerns about what I'm doing here thus far. I'm going to be putting a quiz in the um, in the uh, Telegram. And what I want you to do is with that quiz, with your answers, I want you to send me the information to my Telegram. And I want the whole question and the whole answer. The whole question and the whole answer. So feel free to copy it out of there. Whoever has that background noise, please, please, please. I'm begging of you. Who is that? Who is that? So send the homework, the, the, the quiz work, to me here, don't text it to me. And don't just send me answers. I need the complete sentence, 
and then the answer. So all you got to do is copy it and paste it into what you're going to send to me and then type your answer. I don't want you to retype the whole thing. Copy it, paste it, and then type me your answer. And where I'm going to lead you all to start studying is right here. Beginner's Guide to Trading Forex. I want you to go to babypips.com and click on education. Because this is going to be self-study, ladies and gentlemen. This will help you have clarity to a lot of the market. You're going to have to put in the work, right? But I want you to go to the education tab. And when you go to the education tab, you're going to the school of Pipsology. <clears throat> you're going to learn about what Pips are how they move and how we make money. I want you to go to through the courses in the school of Pipsology, right? I want you all to go through preschool, which is all of this. I want you all to go through kindergarten, which is these. And I want you to go through elementary school before Wednesday. So I'll say that again. I want you to go to babypips.com, go to the education tab and go and do preschool. And then I want you to go to kindergarten and do all of the modules. And I want you to go to elementary and do all of the modules by this Wednesday, all of the modules, right? And here you already learned about, right? Support and resistance. You should know that at support, we do this. At resistance, we do that. That's all I'm going to continue to drill through your head because all trading is from level to level, from support to resistance or resistance to support. Another word is supply and demand. That is the same thing. From the demand zone to the supply zone or from the supply zone to the demand zone. Anyone with any questions about anything that we've went over thus far on this training? Have you all gotten like something out of this today? Yes, sir. Yes. Ooh. Trust Very me, helpful. ladies Thanks. and gentlemen, when you yes. get the firm yeah. understanding of this, you will become a trader. And when you take it serious, there's so much more to learn. When you take it serious, ladies and gentlemen, you will uh, be able to write your own ticket. Whatever wrongs that have been done in life, you can come to the charts and trade and make it better. You can literally make yourself into a multi-millionaire. The next training will be thus far on Wednesday, unless I do another pop-up. But the next training will be Wednesday at 7 p.m. If I have something in between there, I will put it out. Absolutely. I always send the recordings in the group, Sandra. So I'll put the recordings in there. I always send the recordings in the group. Anyone with any other additional questions or concerns? Ladies and gentlemen, you all can do this. This is not hard. Finding out what a floor is and finding out what a ceiling is is not hard. He's finished. It's not hard. I don't know who's talking, but you need to mute yourself. You're absolutely welcome, Sandra. Yeah, so trading is from the floor to the ceiling, from the ceiling to the floor. If you mark up ahead of time and set alarms, you won't have surprises. Not to say that a new floor of resistance couldn't present itself, but you want to make a, enough um, markings on your charts so that you can predict, uh, hey, it might do something at, at this level. Hey, it might do something at this level. And just be prepared for it. 
let's see who else somebody has something to say oh yeah 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 absolutely you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome toy all right well i am getting ready to close off this training it's been my absolute pleasure ladies and gentlemen once again this will be in the uh group uh once it finishes recording or whatever the case is thank you nesva um, and then I'll put the training in the group and everybody feel free to, um, watch the trainings over and over and over again. Send me messages. If you do not have all the other trainings, send me messages so that you can, uh, get them because after a while we will be placing trades and see this right here. You see this little carrot right here, y'all. I click this little carrot down, it has either the buy or the sell. And you could either buy or sell right from the computer. Boom, boom, you're either buying or you're selling. And another thing I wanted to show you all is when you right click, you see how it says trading right here? Wherever you are, you can either choose a buy limit or a sell limit or, or a sell stop or a sell stop a sell limit or a buy stop and it will place that trade for you in a pending order ladies and gentlemen right so if i had it so let's say i had a trade right here let's so let's say i saw this as a level right here and i had a breakout and it came back and retested and i wanted to take the trade right here i could right click hit trading and hit buy limit and it would tell me a price right here for the buy limit. And then it would place that entry right wherever, like that entry would be here. Excuse me. And when the trade came here, it would put me in the trade. And then I could modify the trade to take me out at the next level of structure. Hey, this is Sandra. Oh, hey, what's um, up? Nothing much. How are you? All right. So um, how did you get that buy limit um, feature activated? Just right click in the um, chart. And then- Is that on guess, Google's way or chart? What? You right click in the chart. Yeah. And then you go to trading. Mm -hmm. And there they are. Okay. So it's just automatic. Okay. Yeah, cool. wherever you place it at, mm -hmm. right? Wherever you, wherever, I place it here and then right click in the chart, go to trading. Mm -hmm. And then it will tell me my lot size. And then it will tell me at what price that it's going to place the limit order or what price it's going to place the stop order, the sell stop. Oh, uh, is this on the Hugo Gray platform? It's on all trading platform. brokers. Oh, okay. All Thank you. you. Do is right click it. But yes, this is on Hugo's way. If you look up here. Okay. So um, I hope everybody has enjoyed this training. Um, if you have any questions and or concerns, remember, remember, remember to get back to me here is your best bet, right? The at sign Forex chart killer on Telegram. I'm going to put the homework in there as well as this recording and um, for the quiz rather. And I want you to go through that, but I want you all to go to baby pips and do education, the education tab. And you're going to go to the school of pipsology. And I want you to do preschool and I want you to do kindergarten and I want you to do elementary school all the way through even if you have questions, write them down, right? And we'll go over them. Be prepared and be ready for Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. Every class that I do, I take it up a notch, up a notch, up a notch. So if you're not watching the recordings, if you're not attending the live courses that I'm doing for free, because people pay a lot of money for this. You know what I'm saying? I'm t I want y'all all to learn, you know? Um, I care about you all progressing, right? 
Um, so definitely go back and watch the recordings and take notes. There's definitely going to be something there that you did not learn, that you did not hear. Because eventually you're going to be trading, looking at stuff like this, right? If you decide to go on. Hold on one second. Let me find it. And I'll let that load. all of this crap so just give it time to load Give it a chance, give it a chance. It will load. Keith, it's a, is it realistic to trade on a phone? Because I don't I don't see, um, I think I'm going to have to buy a laptop. So what I, I won't see you, me being able to uh, do this. On my phone. What I will tell you is this. You can trade from your phone, but you really need to know what you're doing because you can't see as much on the phone as you can see on the computer. Now, I know a lot of people look at the computer, confirm on the computer, and then fire into a trade from the phone. But you really have to know your stuff on the phone and be able to see things clear in order to make that transition. So my advice to you is get a computer because a lot of stuff that you're going to do, you're going to need a bigger screen and to have more functionality. Man, this thing's taking a while to load. They loading up though. When it populates, it's gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's a lot to look at. Just give it time. As you can see, the pairs are starting to come through, right? Anybody else with any additional questions while we're waiting for this to load up? Concerns, questions, anything, anything. Keith, I was just wondering how long have you been doing this? Many years. Really? Yes. Many, many moons. <laughs> Y'all see what's coming through? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's 20, 20 charts. All at once. All at once. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, it will take you a while before you're able to get with stuff like that. It will take you a while. Start here, study, 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 and ask your questions. Okay? Okay. All right. Well, I'm about to stop this recording and I hope everyone got something out of this today. Okay. Thanks, Keith. Not a problem. I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Absolutely. Bravo, bravo. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great one, y'all. Thank you, Keith. Absolutely.